we are strapping up Sendy for hopefully the last time we need to take everything apart again for a while. Yeah. And uh, normally we use a ratchet strap on the front bumper, but this time we can use the winch. That's just cheating. is primed up and ready to party. This is a good uh, method you got going here. Yeah, hang them from the frame. Since I don't have to paint every little millimeter of the frame, I can just hang them from places that are already painted and then paint everything at once. We've been wanting to do this for a while. Very good news in the form of high temp engine paint and the actual name, hot paint. We're gonna take a quick break from this build to talk about the sponsor for this video, Curiosity Stream. Now Curiosity Stream is a streaming service made for curious people that wanna learn just about anything. There's over 2,400 documentaries and non-fiction titles to choose from, made by some of the world's best filmmakers, including originals. I've been really into space travel, like spaceships and astrophysics recently, and there's just something on there for everyone. And you can get unlimited access to all this great content for just $2.99 a month. And as a member of our audience, you can get your first 31 days for free. Just go to curiositystream.com slash ghpc and use promo code ghpc. So go check out curiositystream.com. They have a whole series there called Speed, which I think you'll like for <laughs> obvious reasons. And don't forget to use ghpc at checkout to get that free 31 days. Thanks guys. Perfect. Got ourselves a very clean valve cover here. Big unveiling here. If I can do anything with my gloves on, <laughs> which apparently the answer is no. Oh yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, all the seeped under the tape there. Still get that vintage vibe. Yeah, but that new vintage good. vibe. I don't think we're uh, quite at restore its uh, level yet, but. <laughs> <laughs> For a quick and dirty, she'll do the trick. That just looks so good. Wow. Remember how the first time we painted it, we said it never looked that pretty again? Uh-huh. It looks prettier now. And now that the shocks are matching, it's just like, yeah. oh. Doing a little test fitment of the new wheels from Go Power Sports. Those are some wheels. Oh yeah. And they're Look way how wide they are. Yeah. So these are gonna be for the street tires. They're actually only an inch wider, the wheel, but the tires are gonna be way wider. Yeah, this thing is gonna be grip monster for the track. Yep. I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like with the body. Let's see if she clears. Oh yeah, more clearance than before actually. Dang, that's nice. <laughs> Those are so freaking huge. Yeah. Oh man, it looks cool. I have to fix the sway bar, so many of you will not be surprised that my roughly made aluminum splines did not hold up. Um, so I'm gonna have to roughly make them again. 
because they held up on one side, just not the other. So I need to fix that and then maybe paint this. with some limiting straps and um, off the top of my head the shortest strongest piece of thing I have is quick draws from climbing this is what they look like obviously I don't want the carabiners on there but uh, they're rated for 22 kilonewtons of force so that ought to be plenty time to undo the ratchet strap and see if these are close Dang, I can't believe how much that stretches. Yeah, it is limited more on this side than that side by a lot. Right now we're getting the Mustang and the Jeep ready for the TV show. We told you guys we're taking it on the street in one of the last episodes. But we're headed to Southern California tomorrow. Yes. And Go Power Sports is the coolest. Got us these just in time on super last minute notice. The Jeep is gonna be ready to hit the streets after this. Oh. Oh man, those are big. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got four of those bad boys. Look at that grip and they're not even pumped up. Think of what they're gonna look oh. like pumped up. Not for highway service. Hmm, well, we'll see about that. You'd think you'd get like more comfortable doing this. I think I get more scared every time. Come on. Oh. Wow. <laughs> That's a tire. <clears throat> Didn't quite beat all the way, but... Oh! Well, it beat it one side of it. That is a serious grip upgrade right there. Yeah, it really is. Wow. That's gonna be a game changer. <laughs> it's gonna be so tall. They're surprisingly light too for how big they are. Yeah, I think, awesome. they, might, I think they weigh less overall than the current setup. If I were borrowing a truck for our road trip, it's way more room and way more comfortable. So shouts out to Carl. I think we need to get bigger off-road tires now. Yep, I think you're right. Yep. That's true for sure. These snowblower tires have done us good, but uh, it's time for an upgrade. Yep. Straight up Mario Kart now. There's no way around yeah. that. Gosh, these are so big. This is awesome. As you've probably noticed by now, we didn't have a whole lot of time to plan this. So another last minute savior. Alpine stars. Yes, <laughs> we got helmets, leather gloves, and a proper GP racing two-piece suit. Shoot, I gotta be careful where I touch this thing, it's too pretty. I know, it's way too pretty. <laughs> wow. That is one nice helmet. That is so nice. It's so light too. So we're gonna be safe now. <laughs> safe as you can be when you're going 80 miles an hour in a Barbie Jeep. Yeah. Well. I don't know if that's how fast it'll go. We'll find out. We're gonna try. <laughs> I suspect it might go faster than that, but uh, we'll, we'll find out. Actual street bike racing suit. 
and gloves. But those will protect your hands. Wouldn't have burnt that if I'd been wearing these. Oh yeah, that's for sure. I think we're gonna be a lot more comfortable going 80 on the tarmac now. <laughs> that is just and awesome. And it's two-piece so we can wear just the jacket. So Ethan went red, I went yellow. Oh, that thing, oh, I love the different colored leg. This is really just a test. I don't want to break anything, so I'm gonna go pretty easy on it. Just uh, gonna drive it down to the pavement and see what it feels like. <laughs> and what it looks like on pavement too, exactly. man. Yeah. is an insane person going this fast his first time. What do you think? <laughs> You could probably see when I was taking off. Like, if I'm full yeah. on wheeling, it's okay. Mm -hmm. And if I'm on the ground all the way, it's okay. But when I'm just like halfway in between, it really wants to pull to the side. And I don't know if it's this, if it's on the, if it's the front that's making it do that or the rear. But yeah, um, it's hard to tell now because you're on an unlevel surface. Surface, but yeah, <laughs> dang, it is uh, frighteningly quick. 